So Roland, Eric, I'm curious, uh, you know, from the perspective of programmatic and content creation, are you at a place right now where you see it, if, if you know that the, you can, go, you know, garner and acquire the demand through uh, automated channels, is it worth the investment to create new content specifically to deliver there? Has that, where's that value equation at? I mean, we're, we're creating content first uh, for brands, and that was really 2012 and 2013. Uh, our plans going forward are to uh, create original content more specifically to uh, build audiences. Uh, as far as how that relates to us uh, programmatically, most of that is still going to be sold directly. Um, but you know, the other content that is on the platform obviously is uh, sold pro programmatically. Yeah, we don't create any content. We we aggregate it. So I, I think for us, there's there's probably two things. One is giving that feedback loop to the content creators, helping them understand where their content does well. You know, what contacts, what device, and then on our end, um, figuring out different ways to target uh, that kind of profiled content to the device. So. Well, and I think, and I mean, I'll start. With, I guess I was sort of looking directionally, right? So Eric, no, you guys don't, but you're you have a great perspective of the industry holistically. Yeah. And yesterday, one of the conversations was that the economics of content production aren't necessarily, you know, decreasing at the same rate that serving of inventory and automation is, right? There's sort of disproportionate growth there. So the question is, is is programmatic going to afford us enough? economics to make it worthwhile to, for example, is the eventuality to be a publisher that solely produces content that is sold 100% on automated platforms? So I could jump in there really quickly is that I think that when we're looking at creating content, there's you know a lot of different windows that you can exploit. So maybe the first window is sold by, through a direct team, but maybe subsequent windows that are syndicated on other platforms maybe are sold programmatically. And the fact that we can sell all of this inventory in a more efficient way and the sell through, through rates are higher, uh, just enables more revenue in the ecosystem to be able to support the content creation. Right, but I mean, Mark, what's your perspective? Is it all is sort of is automation programmatic always complementary and secondary to direct, or is that only to a point at which we have enough supply of premium video in the marketplace? Like, what's the so, uh, our view ultimately is that 100% of standardized units will go programmatic. Mm -hmm. I mean, it depends on what, what your time horizon is, of course. I mean, I think in 12 months' time, we will still see a lot of imagery sold on a reserve, direct sold basis. But I think if you take a 10 year time horizon, I think the, the idea that A, that most of television consumption hasn't moved to digital um, is, is hard to imagine. I think, it, I think that will happen. And I think the bulk of sales um, for standardized units will move to programmatic. So our view is that ultimately it's 100%. Um, I think, I mean, what percentage of, of flights are, are sold through a travel agent these days? Yeah. Um, I think it's the same kind of thing. 